Uh-uh. You don't, you don't touch no doors when you with me. Okay. Not for real, man. You know, I ain't been on no date in a little while now. Like, at least three months for real. For me to even be out there, like, I, like I'm really fucking with you. Like, I, I, I see a future with us. You mind if I have one of these? No, I don't, I don't good. mind. Um, so yes. what's to you, boo? Like, what's up? I have three kids. Okay. How old is the youngest? You, you about three. Okay, he young. Your baby daddy, y'all still be fucking around? No. I'm, I'm not gonna judge you if you do. Because <laughs> you know me and my baby, no matter. Okay, so, where do you see yourself in five years? In between your legs? <laughs> I wanna get another drink. Well, get another drink then. Get as many drinks as you want, baby. <laughs> drink up. Hey, mom. Tell her I say hey. What you mean I gotta come get the kids? Mom, come on now. You know I have not been outside. Like, this is the first time in like eight months. Like, really? I said I'm on my way, Mom. Like, dang, you don't have to keep calling me. I'm coming. I'm coming. It's not that serious. You bogus for even doing this to me right now. So, I gotta go get these kids. My mom tripping right now. You gonna be free tomorrow? No, I'm busy. Excuse me, can we get you separate checks, please? I, I thought you said I don't have to open up no doors. You got it. Can I get the ox court? Oh, yeah. It ain't that bitch Something like that. A woman ever pulled that on you guys? She get the free meal from you. You wine and dine her. And then she go home to Pookie or Tyrone. That's part of the Tyrone effect, for lack of a better term. But this is what women do. Women will lie to your face and tell you i'm not messing with such and such i ain't got nothing going on i ain't been with a man in years i done had a few women tell me that meanwhile it's a dude just clapping it up in the background what she was gonna do was get her to go with the crab legs after buddy dropped her off she's gonna go pick dude up a dude is already waiting at home with her you want and dining her showing her a good time she telling you that she wants this that and the third but that dude ain't got to do none of that. This is how crazy women are, bro. This is how crazy women You have to wait. You have to take me on X amount of dates. I just talked about this the other day. About this woman who was telling me, yeah, single mom too. <laughs> I, I, I was talking about this story. You got to take me on a few dates. And then we're going to do something weekly. And we go out. Sometimes I'll pay for you. You'll pay for me. And when I'm ready to give you the buns, then you know I'll probably give them to you. Keep in mind, I, I am sexually attracted to you. And I know you're sexually attracted to me. But I'm just not going to do that. But you're going to continue to take me out on dates, though. And you need to be texting me, checking on me, doing all this stuff like that. Man, listen. What happened just now? Perfect. That's exactly what goes on, fellas. Don't think that it doesn't go on because it goes on all the time. So, buddy handled it right. You should have just went to the bathroom and just left her there when she got on that type of time. Acting like she talking to her mom and all this. So women will throw stuff last minute. Oh, or just know all along, yo. Act like you're going to call me. Phone ring. I got to come pick the kids up. And Man, screw all that, guys. Let's get on to the next clip, though. Let's go. Would you rather date a guy who had a promiscuous past or was a virgin? I would say promiscuous. It's always good to have, like, experience. I value that. How much experience are we talking here, though? Are we talking about account? Realistically. <laughs> um, I don't know, like... Personally, it's like 15, so around that, like 10, 15, even like 3, I don't know. Wait, you're I, saying your body count's 15? Yeah. So I, I would and you're how old? 21. You, you, that, that's why I don't mind like a, a guy who's like promiscuous. But why do you think most women are afraid to share their body count? Because they're being slut shamed all the time. And I, I fucking hate that. It's the worst. So why don't you care is the question. If a guy has a body count of 15, he's going to be like, like, everyone's going to be like, ooh, like, dude, like, you're good. Yeah. Like, good for you. If a guy, if a girl says that, it's going to be like, you're such a slut. I don't care. What if I'm a slut? I don't know if she was sober or not, but it appeared that she was sober and she just kept it honest with you guys. That's how she gets down. But how could she say that or anyone for that matter? You could say it's within a man's nature. I get it. And I'm not taking up for the woman at all. I don't think a woman should be busting it open like that. And it's completely different. We can say you're being hypocritical. JR, how come a woman can't sleep with as much as a man? Because that's not how women are designed mentally. Not at all. Men don't have emotions connected to sex, unlike women. But 21 years old and you have a body count of 15? Sheesh. 
I don't even want to get into that. Let's just say you started active at 18. That's three years. That's five people a year that was squirting. But uh, <laughs> most women want a dude that is experienced. You don't want a man that's not experienced, that don't know what he's doing. It turns women off. Women like a man that has experience and choices, and other women want him. Just how it is. Let's get on to the next clip, though. Let's go. What's the most a man should spend on a first date? I feel like if I'm going to get ready and I'm going to use all my products to come out with you, I need like a minimum of $200. A minimum. And that's like being nice. And what does a man get in return for that? My presence. What? Aren't you having his presence within you already? I hear you, but no. <laughs> no. I mean, like, I'm here oh, is to it get different? to know you. I'm here to get to know you. You invited me out. But he has to drop $200. Yeah, because minimum. That, yeah, because just, you just because me out. just because you have to do your makeup. Um, because I have to. Okay, so we're gonna do the math. My moisturizer is four hundred dollars. My eye cream is three hundred dollars. My serum is like another three hundred dollars. My makeup, you know, not included. So if I have to spend, you know, that's my money. I'm spending my money on these products. I'm gonna use these products. What are you using them for, though? For myself. Okay. But I'm going to use these products and I'm going to show up because it's not like I'm going to show up in sweats. The man doesn't owe you anything if you're just getting to know each other. If you're inviting me out, you owe me a day. Trust me, man. I just did a live stream on this yesterday. But that's how women think. Even though she's going to wear this for her girlfriend, she's not going to charge her girlfriends to put on her makeup. And she's going to want to get cute. Just being honest, guys. We got to keep it funky and keep it honest. And cut out all the BS that's going on. He needs to drop $200 and his presence. A woman, like, that was another conversation I have. Women will tell you that their time is more important than yours, even though you don't get anything out of it. And you certainly not always going to get some buns out of the deal. But $200 for some buns or some potential buns is just crazy. That is complete nasty work, guys. Complete nasty work. Guys, don't ever fall for stuff like that, man. If you're able to do it and you know there's some buns in the equation... By all means, if that's within your budget and you got more money than you got time and you don't got time to be going on multiple dates and stuff like that. But the way she's talking, like minimum for me to step out, but she's not going to charge her girlfriends that she's going to pay for her girlfriend's drinks and all this other stuff. But if you want to get to know me, even though he's the one that's going to be paying the bills, if we ever get in a relationship, he's going to be the one paying for everything. But yet still, he needs to pay right now. You're not going to invest anything into this. These products you use, you use every day. It's not just for a date. Anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think. Comment below. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Much blessings and abundance. Stick around for the next videos. It's going to pop up on the screen below. That's where I'm going to see you guys. That's your favorite everything. This is wisdom. Let's run it up to one million. Quit playing with me. Peace.